Workers and managers at the world-famous Wilton Carpet Factory are celebrating the 20th anniversary of its rescue from closure. Back in 1995, the Wiltshire town was dealt a massive blow when the carpet factory's previous owners decided to shut it down. But three managers took it over and restarted production. Steve Humphrey reports. These happy, smiling faces reflect a British manufacturing success story. Everyone connected with the Wilton Carpet Factory has plenty of reasons to celebrate. It's now exactly 20 years since this factory was rescued from closure. We all work together as one happy family and a strong team, yeah, so it, 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 I knew it would work. Everyone mucks in to make sure every, every part of the process is correct. Everyone hates it when anything goes wrong. Everyone will do their best to meet a date, meet an order. The happy mood now is in stark contrast to how it was 20 years ago when the previous owners shut the factory. It should never have happened. I'm completely Many thought it would be the end of nearly 300 years of carpet making in Wilton, but Peter LeCount and two other managers decided to buy the site. We think we've got a great opportunity here and we're going to give it a go. And the worst case is if we fail, at least we can say, well, at least we tried. And try they did. The carpets made here are now sold around the world. Oh, it's a fantastic time. The factory's busy. It has been busier for the last six months than it's ever been. We're running it round the clock. 20 years ago, 150 workers were made redundant. Today, the factory and the shopping area employ around 200 people. It makes us all feel very proud that we're carrying on producing really good quality product in a very traditional way. The factory produces around about 300,000 square metres of carpet every year. And customers include places like the Houses of Parliament, the US Federal Reserve Bank, top hotels and sporting venues like the Clubhouse at the Augusta National Golf Course. It's been quite a transformation and the owners are now contemplating a major investment in new machinery. Steve Humphrey, BBC South Today, Wilton.